up you guys you guys want to know what's in here don't you i know i know okay so today's video is gonna be a what's in my bag video as you guys can see here i got my big old beautiful clinical bag i will post where i got this bag from um i did get it off of amazon i will put the link in the description box um so we're just gonna go through and i'm gonna show you guys everything that is in my bag so if you want to know what's in here stay tuned all right you guys so first of all i'm gonna start out with the stuff that's on top of my bag these right here are weights and fluid equivalency flashcards um i am in my nursing course and in my specific nursing course we are prepping for pharmacology so I have these to go over them daily. I make sure that I put them on my bag because they're on my bag that I won't forget. Um, I spend a lot of time on campus, so I use those bad boys while I'm there. So first things first, we're gonna start with what's on the outside. I have my glasses on the outside in the little pocket on the side here, cause your girl is blind. My other pocket is for um, like my keys or my portable charger. <laughs> And then I also have my phone charger as well. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, I have my badge also. Um, so, okay, I had to make sure it didn't say what campus it was on. So this is my little badge reel, you guys. I thought this was super cute. And that is what my badge looks like. I know your girl's forehead is big as hell. So okay, that don't mind. Um, I do have some little cards on my badge that you guys will probably find useful. If you guys want to know where I got them from, please let me know down below. Um, and I will go over the ones that I have on my badge for clinicals and as well as where I got them from. So make sure to let me know. Um, but I do have pain assessment on here, which also has vital signs on the back. I have um, temperatures from Fahrenheit to Celsius and then conversions, a little conversions cheat sheet on the back of that one. Uh, this one is helpful phrases in Spanish, which is also front and back. We have therapeutic drug levels and adult normal lab values on this one. I don't know if you guys are able to see these very well. Um, but like I said, if you guys want to know where I got them from, I can put it down below. This one is normal lab values as well. This is just a little cheat sheet that I have from my previous job that gives you, you know, the milliliters of the type of drinks that they normally give at the hospital. Um, this one is lung sounds. This one is injections and donor blood types. And then these ones here are for newborns, you know, like newborn blood pressure, newborn weight. And then this one is for stool. And um, so those are just a couple different things that I have on here. I also have pens, markers, and highlighters up here as well. So that way, you know, if you need something, you got it on your badge. Always good to have those on your badge. All right, in this front zipper here, I have a little pouch. This has all, you know, your womanly items that you need every month just in case you never know things happen that's in the front pouch i also have some chapsticks and i have my watch as well if you're a nursing student you know that you have to have a watch you have to have one of these um i know some girls who use their apple watch and i mean at my school that's completely fine it may not be the same way on your campus but usually it's fine i also have a backup pin right here in the front and a little perfume, you know, just in case. You never know, you might have something spill on you that doesn't smell too nice. You always wanna have a backup of something. All right, so in the second zipper right here, I have my foldable clipboard, which also has some cheat sheets on it as well. I'll put that a little closer so you guys can see. And it has some little cheat sheets on the back as well for pupil injection spikes you know pain assessments or septic shock and it does fold out like this which i find this very useful in clinicals by the way if you guys are looking for something that you can just like fold up you know to keep that hipaa stuff together it's a good way to do it so you don't have to worry about did i lay it down the right way 
is anybody going to knock it over or pick it up, anything like that. So in one of my first main compartments here, I have this Wave notebook. This notebook is a notebook that you can write stuff down in and then you can transfer it to whatever files you want to transfer to. So for me, I use it for my Google files, which if I write something in here, then I use the app on my phone and it will scan it, scan whatever I have written in on this page and then it, I can click I want to send it to here. And then once I'm done, I can heat this up or I can just get rid of the page, but I liked it because you can heat it up and it'll all go away. I thought that was pretty cool. You guys are probably like, oh my God, but I'm into weird stuff like that. So I also have in this compartment a little packaging for my stethoscope, my pen light, my extra badge reel, and my scissors. So here you guys can see I have two stethoscopes. I have three pen lights, another badge reel just in case. If you guys want to know where I got this from, I can link it down below as well. And then of course over here I have another stethoscope and I also have another stethoscope in cover just in case I lose one or it breaks or you know, you never know. Crazy wild stuff happens at clinicals, you guys. Wild stuff. So that is what's in the second compartment. In this big compartment here, let's undo this top portion. I normally would have my NCLEX nursing book in here, but in the class that I'm in, I don't have it in here. So as you guys know, I keep my planner on me. If you watched my last video, you guys know I always keep this planner. This planner right here is my go-to. I keep all of my notes, all of my daily things I need to do in here. Um, and it is separated day by day, week by week. So as you guys can see here, I have some stuff written down already there. That was from July. And then if you come over here to this one, you'll see I did the same thing here. And let's flip a page so I can show you guys. I can get it. And you guys will see here, this was from the first week. So this is just how I stay on top of everything. I take my planner with me every time I go to class. Um, this helps me make sure that I get everything done. I also just have a regular notebook. Um, this notebook is just like a regular notebook, but I got it off of Amazon. I like the Be Heart layout on the front. It is matte black, it's very smooth. I got this off of Amazon as well. And the other thing that's in here for this semester is my Fundamentals to Nursing book. Now, this book is very, very helpful, you guys. Hear me out when I tell you. When you go to class, your teacher is going to have PowerPoints up. I would advise you to read your chapters ahead of time and then listen to the PowerPoint and anything that she mentions in the PowerPoint, write it down and then go back in your notes and try to compare it to what's in the book. That's gonna give you a better understanding of the material instead of just trying to remember the material. The other thing I have in here is my blood pressure cuff. You can get one of these at your Galen campus store. Um, they have them in there, I think for 20 or $30, I'm not sure, but I have one of these from Galen. Um, I really like it. It's very easy to put together. And so yeah, that's it for this pocket. Like I said, I normally would have my nursing um, NCLEX book in here, but I took it out because I am in my fundamentals to nursing course, and that just makes my bag entirely too heavy. Um, so I just go over my questions every weekend in the NCLEX book to make sure that I'm getting a good grasp of everything that's going on. So that is what's in my nursing clinicals bag as of right now. Um, I do usually put a lunchbox in here as well in this big zipper, and it does also come with the zipper on the side here, which is pretty big. I usually put my phone and I have an extra hair tie in there as well. Um, another thing I like about this bag is that it also has 
this little compartment here that you can hook like your stethoscope on or your pen if you need to set it down real quick or if you're in like a meeting and you need to you know hang something right here or put your jacket or your lab coat right here that's is where i usually put it it's very helpful to have um like i said i can link this bag down below if you guys have any questions about what to put in your nursing bag or what to take with you to clinicals leave it in the comments down below and i will see you guys next time